Yes, a very funny guy from Long Island, New York. We've had him here before, and we will have him here again, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome the very funny Tom Pecora. Wow, listen to you guys, right? Toronto, here I am, all the way from New York City. Yeah. New York City, the rotten apple, the city that never, ever sweeps, ever. Cool coming up here. Uh, needless to say, that uh, Asian woman coughing on the flight was not the most popular woman on the plane. But it's good to be here. That war looks like it's just about over. The war, thank God. Is it, we didn't, yeah, you can clap. Go ahead. Go nuts. Not too long. I only get five minutes. Okay. Uh, no, but it looks it's just like about over. We all watched on the news. We all see like every ten minutes they updated. There were like a thousand journalists over there. Did you see the first time ever? Thousands of journalists. The journalists were embedded. That was the buzzword. They were embedded. Like ticks. <laughs> so apparently we didn't need to kick Geraldo out of the country. We could have just burned him with a cigarette. They did that. They kicked Geraldo out of the country. They kicked him out for, you know, secrets or sandcastles or whatever he was doing down there. It was, we kicked him out of the I'm watching going, you mean, we could do that? All those years of that crappy show and we could have just kicked him out of the country? Right? Why stop there? I'm going to Celine Dion's room in Vegas. Here's some skates, honey. Let's go. <laughs> we kicked him out. I didn't realize quite how many retired generals we had in the U.S. Did you watch the cable news? There's thou I hope we have enough active generals in the U.S. I didn't realize that CNN was part of the pension plan for the U.S. military. But they're using that card deck. Did you see that deck of cards? They got all the Iraqis on that deck. Of when are they going to sell those here? I want to play cards with the guys on Monday nights. We're like, okay, I got a full house. I got a pair of sevens over Muhammad Sheikh. I love. Blah, 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 blah. I got sevens in Tariq Aziz. <laughs> he's the only guy I know. <laughs> he's the only one I can identify because he's got those 1970s Lauren Hutton sunglasses he wears. Thank God. <laughs> And the, and the America, it's, it, the price tag is that the American have spent billions on this war, billions with all these smart bombs. What happened to good old dumbass bombs they used to have that just blew things up? They developed these smart bombs that don't actually kill anybody. Right? I think the U.S. government is actually working on a bomb that's like 12 or 13 million dollars, but when it detonates, it doesn't kill anyone, but it mildly irritates brown people. <laughs> it goes off in the ground and then they all just itch. They're going to come full circle. They're going to spend billions, and then they're going to spend like $3 on like Nerf and water guns. Like, they, got, they got that deck of cards. Did you see it? The real reason they did the deck of cards was so the generals knew who the 55 most wanted Iraqis were. Did you see that? So you can picture the big CENTCOM briefings with all the generals. It'd be like kids trading hockey cards. Okay, did we kill this one? Need them? Need them? Got them? Want them? Have them? Need them? Did we kill this one? Good. Nah, need them? Got them? Want them? Whatever. But it's not just the Americans. Everybody thinks it's just the Americans. It's definitely a huge, vast coalition of the willing. Like we have the Americans, the British, and I think there's like 12 or 13 Australians over there too. I think they're... What are they doing? Seriously, there's 12 or 13 Australians. Guys. What are they doing? They're putting like, you know, air fresheners in the tanks. <laughs> you know, shining up the rims on the Hummers. <laughs> when do we get our cut of the oil? There's a million, and, and, and they, 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 like they're just sitting over there. The, the Iraqis are happy. I see them dancing in the streets. Do you see the uniform? From what I see, they're sitting out there, like they fire the guns in the air, like their team won a big game or something. You know? That's how they celebrate. And I'm sitting there watching, like, good for you. You guys deserve it. But don't those bullets ever come down anywhere? It's not hard enough to be a farmer in suburban Baghdad when you're out there. My Iraqi farmer impression right there. That's, I don't even know. Is that how you hoe? Is that the right? The Iraqis whistle a lot, apparently. But, but we Americans, we're trying to help. We don't want to appear to be imperialists, so we're like dropping bags of wheat on them. Like 600-pound bags of wheat. You're welcome. You know? What are they going to do with wheat? You know, like people always at my shows, they tell, you can make bread. I couldn't make bread, could you? You drop a 600-pound bag of wheat in front of me, I'll have a chair before I have bread. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is nice, sturdy. 600 pounds. 
These people don't have ovens or stoves. They don't even have a house. They're Iraqi refugees, not Wolfgang Puck. But it's, seriously, it's a crazy time in the world. You know, you watch, you got Afghanistan and the Iraq and the Syria, Iran thing. You're watching all that. And I'm watching the news going like, what does that crazy guy in North Korea have to do to get noticed nowadays? You know, he's sitting there jumping up and down. I have nuclear bombs. And George Bush is like, we got to go kill Saddam because he may have weapons of mass destruction. The guy in North Korea is like, I have weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You guys have been a lot of fun. I had the time before. That is my show. Tom Pagora, ladies and gentlemen. Good job, Tom. Tom Pagora at the left is all weekend. Thanks to George Chavallo, Kazer, and Tom.